I don't know about y'all, but I overall thought they did some pretty great things at WrestleMania night one. I feel that night one was definitely the superior night of the two nights of WrestleMania. Um, minus the Cena and Theory thing, because I'll tell you why later. I just thought it was, you know, dreadful and such a waste of so many opportunities that they could have done to help Theory. I thought it was just rushed and it's a damn shame, but you know, they over they did so good that I'm even gonna have nice things to say about Dominic Mysterio today. When the hell? Well, it's been months since I said that just because I think the character is absolutely stupid. Is he doing it well? Yes. Is he putting everything into it? Yes. Do I also think it's holding back people like, you know, Damian Priest and all that? Yeah. Do I think that, they're, you know, it didn't help Charlotte and Rhea as they're yelling they want should be the main event? I mean, you're throwing Dom in the middle of it. That didn't help anything. Do I think? Yeah. But they did good stuff there. So I got to say nice things about that. Becky G. Did a beautiful rendition of America the Beautiful to start the night off right. So kudos to her. You know, I heard the name before, never heard anything that she did. So that was really cool. Uh, Miz and Snoop opening the show and being in so many segments together and Snoop being there so much made sense. L.A., it's his town. He's never going anywhere. It's always been his place, you know, his home for decades and that rap scene and all that. So that was good to see him in so many spots as we know how big of a fan he is. And it worked, you know, did they overdo it a few times? Yeah. When I look up and I go, look, they're back again, but you know, it's WrestleMania. It's LA. It's Snoop Dogg. And we didn't have to see the Miz alone, which worked out good for me because I like him in small doses because, you know, he's good at it. There's a lot of just the same thing over and over again. And we all know I'm not a big fan of that. It hurts my damn head. That's where we're going to leave that first match. though, kicked off Austin Theory, defeating John Cena to remain the WWE United States champion. And personally, I thought it was a stinker of the night over a certain other match. And I saw people sucked because of the wasted opportunity in it. There was a lot of wasted opportunity. You know, the what, two or three minutes wouldn't have killed anything. Yeah, you know, we got an ear bite from Theory. We got a hand bite. The ref somehow didn't see, you know, to get out of the STF, even though his hand was supposed to be right, you know, ref was supposed to be right there, but they did that. Uh, the violently overdone Cena goes for AA. Opponent holds on to the ropes. He pulls him away. They hit the referee. Stupid happens. Like, all right, that's so overdone. I get he's not going to have too many left, but how many times can it happen? We then get a low blow from Theory to Cena. He hits A-Town down, and it was done just like that. There was no... Fight back from Cena. There's no, none of that stuff that they only had to add three or four minutes and kick out and keep, you know, building theory as a bad guy just, and all that from putting a whooping on him. But it was like ear bite, hand bite, low blow, done. And <laughs> that spot just so overdone, but it was quick and pointless. They didn't do any of the normal stuff. They didn't do anything to help, you know, I think put theory in that spot by taking out, you know, Cena because it was just. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. It's done. And I thought that absolutely sucked. Now, very large wasted opportunity. I'm going to leave it at that, but I don't think it did anything nearly as much as they could have to help build theory, which you know, was obviously the whole point of it. And it just felt like a giant. Yeah, you know, it was just a waste. Could have done better. They didn't. So that did suck. And again, go in the comments, tell me whatever, you know, find it, post on Facebook, you know, on Anchor, Spotify for podcasts, whatever the link says, leave a voice message. Wrestling, ski, find the links, the YouTube channel, Rumble channel, you can go anywhere, find it. Let me know what you think, but I thought it was a waste, and I thought three or four more minutes could have, you know, fully built it like they could have and accomplished so much more, and that just felt rushed and flat. And never thought that was going to be, you know, the low point of the night for me, but it really actually was match wise. I did. Sorry. Didn't like it. At least I got it out of the way first though. I made up for it through the rest of the night. Street profits defeated Braun Strowman and Ricochet, the Viking Raiders and Alpha Academy and the men's WrestleMania showcase match, which was far superior of the showcase matches. You know, again, these guys, you know, teams, teams going at it. And a lot of the women ones, like people thrown together there or people that we never see. And, yeah, so there's 
no chance a women's match was going to do it. No offense. It's not being sex. It's just actual teams that can wrestle with random teams like Chelsea Green and Sonya thrown in at the last second. And, you know, what was the Shotzi and Natalia together? Like, it was just random people, not teams we've seen together for forever. And I thought that the men won the one. I definitely thought it deserved, you know, more than I've seen a lot of people give credit for. A lot of people seem to have it in their bottom, too. I didn't think it was anyone near the bottom, too. You know, that match absolutely delivered. Again, let me know what you think. But I thought they absolutely, you know, killed it. And everyone got their stuff in without making it too stupid, you know. And I do watch, you know, AEW. It wasn't like that where everyone got their stuff and it was unnecessary. It just turned into a million super kicks and high spots. And, you know, everyone got it in without it being, like, really, really, really egregiously overly done. Um which is hard to do. And I like the good wrestling in the match. Uh, good spots. We got to see the rolling German suplex from Gable to Strowman. That was a sight. And I hope he gets his singles pushed soon because he deserves it. What he could do in the ring on the mic, how far he's come, you know, with all of that, especially since, you know, they handed him shorty G like that's really been fantastic. And I'm sure he's going to, he deserved it. He's earned it. He's super talented, technical, and he can talk. So he has the look. So hopefully he gets a single push and all kinds of stuff. Stroman got to do a Stroman Express, you know, which everyone loves to see. The crowd likes it. Getting Dawkins to come around the corner and just full run over Stroman. That gave Dawkins his moment because, again, you know, we know that the Street Profits, you know, that's sooner or later going to come at some point. That's Elimination Chamber was the big test to see if it worked. He got hit. Dawkins got his moment there, and he's been getting better. He's in better shape. Yeah, you know, and I don't want them again. We said this, or I don't want them beating each other and turning on each other like a draft, and they separate them like Bubba and Devon. Yeah, you know, do something like that. Don't have them turn on each other. There's no point in that they are perfect where they are right now. They can do a little things to add to it, but hopefully a full, you know, them beating the hell of each other. Go Montez got his stuff, and and it was super talented. And the Street Profits were the right team to win, so that was good to see. So you know they had their match on Raw, and I thoroughly put that way up higher than the bottom two of, you know. The night. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm an ass. Definitely the second one. So, you know, whenever people put that in the bottom two or at the bottom of the show altogether, get your eyes checked. I don't know what to tell you. They at least did all their stuff and didn't make it too stupid. Seth Rollins defeated Logan Paul, delivered as expected, and no one can deny Logan's talent in the ring. Uh, I didn't even know who the hell he was because this. She's still trying to explain me, Hannah, what the hell Vine is and was. I didn't even know it was a thing. But, yeah, she's still doing that. And I have no idea. They just hurt my damn head running their suck holes. And they're good at it. But they made a whole life out of it. And Seth got his moment in the end. We still got to see, you know, Logan get all the stuff and zip lining down. The splashes through the tables. You know. Maverick Lariats because it's no longer the buckshot like it was Elimination Chamber. It's great that they changed it that quick. So, you know, Hangman can't come after him or anyone, but, you know, he does that. The splashes, the flips, standing moonsaults like he's super talented. They put on a good show. Justin's weird for wanting Seth Rank gear from that night. I don't know what it was. Yeah, you know, weird, but it was exactly what we expected, uh, especially if it was Logan's last match on this contract. Made sense to have him go out and lose as well. So I have no complaints about it. Again, I don't like him, you know, outside of it, but when he gets in the ring, I mean, just look at the match he had there. Look at the match he had with Roman. You know, he's good. Why ruin it? That's all I'm saying. Good match. Uh, Becky and Lita and Trish dressed via damage control. I'm going to drop my first F-bomb of the show, but damage control song is fucking terrible. And to have it play for that long is just bad. I'm not sorry. That thing absolutely sucks. I can't believe they haven't changed. Just take the words out. It's have to be Bailey song. It's all they had to do. Instead, we have to listen to that the whole time. They're making it down, you know, the football field or two of entryway. It hurt my head. I hate it. Like, actually hate, hate. I liked the graphic novel, comic book, Sin City type entrance for Trish Lita and Becky. Now, I'm a fan of Sin City movies and stuff, so there's something about it, but. I always liked, you know, when the match had its moments. I mean, no one thought it was going to be like this five million starred wrestling match. No offense to, you know, Lita or Trish. Lita's, you know, they've they've been retired for the longest time. Lita had, you know, knees and necks and all kinds of things in there. It was just a spot to get everyone in there. So, you know, I still put that above 
you know, seen in theory just because what seen in theory could have been. And I thought they had thousand percent dropped the ball. And this is what we expected it to be. You know, they didn't drop the ball. Like, and everyone still had spots where they looked competent. And, you know, so I put that above that. Argue me. It's fine. It's definitely, definitely nowhere near better than the men's showcase match. Anyone that thinks that you can high. But overall, we go, we won, and uh, hopefully at least the end of you know, damage control, at least the damn song. But I just don't think it's worked. Came out, had all this momentum, and then they just had them doing the same shit repeatedly. And then after that was done, they then had them continue the same shit with Becky continuously. Obviously, they don't have really any ideas, so hopefully that goes away really soon just because I'm tired of seeing leather rinse repeat same thing over again. And really, they do that a lot with a lot of people, and it's not helping damage control them. I said what I said. Rey Mysterio defeated Dominic Mysterio, and even though there were shenanigans, we all expected shenanigans. I do have to say, you know, give Dom credit. I like the entrance part of Dom's entrance. The police van, the police escort, handcuffs, raised mask on his head. You know, best thing they've done the entire time. I, you know, video package, whatever. I'm in a holding cell for something I didn't do. Yada, yada, yada. I think that's something. I thought they put that together. That was the best thing they've done. That was fantastic. He did it very well. Again, he's doing it well. Just most of it's just so stupid that I just don't enjoy it. But if they did more stuff like that where it was actually done well, I'd be nicer to him. Because that was good. That was killer. Ray coming out in the low rider with Snoop and having Eddie's I Lie, Cheat, I Steal song playing for even as little as they did before he switched to his normal one. It was another fantastic entrance. Those two stole it for the whole weekend to me. That was fantastic. I don't care what anyone says. And the match put together is probably Dom's best. Granted, I mean, he was with his dad, so we know they have chemistry in real life. You know, and they have all that. They put together a great one. And I had nothing really bad about that, you know. Uh, got more of that. I'd hate him less. Like I said about the entrance, we got more matches like that. I'd hate him less, you know. Um, and again, the shenanigans, you know, his sister was there, his mom was there. We all knew that was going to have Priest and Finn. We all knew they were coming somewhere. It was nice to see uh, Legato come out, you know, the Latino World Order put back together, see them come out to defend Ray. That was nice to see just because it gives them something to do. And they always had that like crime family kind of, you know, thing going on there. So, you know, having them together doing the gang, you know, th that was, I appreciate it. Uh, Bad Bunny stealing the chain from Dom is now set up what I'm guessing will be Ray and Bad Bunny against Priest and Dom in Puerto Rico, a backlash. So I see what comes from that, but I thought they did a good job and I never say anything nice about them. So, you know, hate me as much as you want, but that didn't suck. Nowhere near sucked. And I don't even like any of it. I've been on here. Like, why do you think I don't do little episodes all the time anymore? I'm pretty sure everyone's tired of hearing me just talk about how bad I thought they've done all of it, even though he's putting it all into it. It's just too dumb for me. And I thought they did good this time. So congratulations to that kid. Rhea Ripley defeated Charlotte Flair, become the new SmackDown Women's Champion. I see a lot of people saying Charlotte was sandbagging. I thought they, you know... And the show, you know, the last two matches, you know, that went through everything and killed it. Uh, but, you know, the last two matches, real matches, were, you know, phenomenal. And it was Rhea's time. Again, I would have liked to see her and Bianca. It was, you know, it was going to happen, then it didn't happen. We were waiting for forever. So, you know, I was hoping that was going to happen. But her and Charlotte finishes the story of what should have been in 2020 when everything got canceled in the PC alone, all that. And... You know, Charlotte could work with all kinds of people and let Rhea be champion, see how long they do it, but she deserved it. Uh, we just get to sit around, wait and see. Yeah. And again, right away, there's, you know, reports and dirt sheets on about Charlotte sandbagging and this, that, and the other. And I still thought, sure, was there some stuff? Yeah. But was it still a killer match? Yeah. Did it deserve the main event? Hell no. Sorry. The build towards it, the story, all of it. KO and Sammy versus the Usos and the Bloodline, all that has been. Look how long they've been doing it now. It needed to be there. It needed to be there. It needed to be in there. They need to go on before that. Deal with it. Find me. Tell me what you think. But I thought it was a good match. It was good to see Rhea finally get her moment. Charlotte put her down. And we'll see where they go from here. I'm sure her and Charlotte aren't done yet, but time will tell. Uh, Snoop and Miz in the ring again. Snoop 
makes a match for you know, Pat McAfee versus The Miz. Everything you could expect. You know, Pat got his stuff in. Miz got his stuff in. Miz tried to walk away. Shoves Kittle. Kittle clotheslines him, throws him back in the ring. You know, the punt for McAfee. Nice little spot, I suppose. Killed a few minutes, but they could have taken that time. Spurs match. You're welcome. We found the couple minutes they could have used to make that better. It was good. Little Uzi Vert was out there for like 30 seconds. I don't get it. It made no sense. And the real question is, what the hell is the point of the belt on his pants? I mean, if it's all the way down past your ass, I mean, there's no point. You know, um, so that was a low spot on the night for me. I was like, oh, look, I've never heard him. Let's see. Didn't help. Uh, hated it. But Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn went into the main event. They defeated the Usos to become the new WWE Undisputed Tag Team Champions. And it was the ending night one that deserved to be there again, just from storytelling, build, fan investment, all of that. That was supposed to be the main event. And everyone's saying, promise the main event. She didn't get the main event. A lot of people. It, it, once the it, it, we go way back, the Undertaker when he won the Rumble that year didn't even get the main event. Cry about it. There was more storytelling and effort put into the Usos in the Bloodline the last week than there was Charlotte and Rhea the whole time. They drug Dom into the middle of it, like they didn't do themselves any favors with that, so everyone could just piss off, peace off. Like that one guy said way back in Ramsey's Kitchen Nightmares, but. It was the one that needed to happen. We got to see Sammy kick out, be the first person to kick out of the 1D from the Usos. Jay did a Haluma kick to Sammy, and Sammy kicked out of... Sammy got three Haluma kicks on Jay before picking up the pinfall for the win. You know, and it was great storytelling this whole time going through the match. They tore the house down. It was the match that should have ended. It was the big moment, and hopefully this further, you know, breaks down the bloodline with them losing now as we saw some on Raw. You know, we'll see how long it goes until all hell breaks loose, but it's another chink in the armor, I guess we could say the bloodline, you know, to slowly get rid of it and have Roman go away. But anyone saying like Jesus, the undertaker, when they all knew about the street, when he wasn't main eventing WrestleMania, and he didn't cry. Please shut up. Cause they always say main event of WrestleMania. Like not everyone has, there's a long list of people that haven't actually. So I appreciate you being that angry, standing up for it and passionate, but you know, a lot of people that haven't main evented WrestleMania after winning the Royal Rumble to include the thinking of Cena. Triple H is in there, I believe. Taker's definitely in there. You know, so do that. I believe Seth Rollins opened some shows. Like Asuka didn't get to when she meant when she had her top first house out there against Charlotte. You know, a lot of people didn't. So at least look back and see all the people that didn't before you have a stroke this year. It has nothing to do with them being females. And mere fact that Sammy K. and Uso is way better, a much longer story, and they actually put effort into it. They deserved it. But thank you for watching. Don't forget, you know, YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Spotify for Podcasters, Slash Anchor, whatever it is, iHeartRadio, Audible, Rumble, BitChute, CloudHub, like they're all there. Google Podcast takes it forever. Good pod. So check it out, you know, on whichever one you prefer. Don't forget Anchor slash Bob Hive Podcast, which you can support there and leave voice messages. And that helps immensely to help pay for cameras and equipment, and trademarks, and all that stuff. Check out the others if you haven't. There's a bunch of them for the whole entire weekend. Share the holy hell out of this. Let's get it growing. And check out night two because it's coming. Enjoy all you. Thanks for listening. Peace.